Hi everybody, I just got to my hotel room here at the Tilde de Fogodo and I am really excited to see it, so let's take a look. to go downstairs to the restaurant that they have here inside the hotel and the smell is driving me crazy because it smells amazing so I'm ready to have some yummy Hungarian food and I'm gonna take you down there with me I'm here at the Tuldi Fogodo Eitaram which is the hotel's restaurant downstairs and I just ordered my dinner and I'm about to have a very Hungarian dinner so as soon as the food arrives I will show you what I'm about to eat Okay, my first course has just arrived and it's Gimilch Levesh, which is fruit soup. To be very specific, it's cherry fruit soup, so this should be very good. I'm really excited to taste it. I haven't had this soup in about 12 years, so I'm really excited. It looks delicious too, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. It's a cold soup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mm. I feel like I'm cheating and I'm having dessert first. All right, so now we've come to the entree, which is marha perkult, with a non-traditional side. Uh, usually they have something called galushka, which can also be called nokedli. Um, this is something I've never really had before. It's similar to nokedli, but instead of them making it with flour and egg, they've made it with potato and egg and flour and water. So um, this is what it looks like. So marha perkult is a beef, in a, it's like a stew, and then the side here is the galushka or the nokedli, and on top they've put um, a lot of sour cream and bacon bits for you bacon lovers out there, and then there's a little bit of a side salad which is also highly unusual for here in Hungary, but everything is new and interesting so I'm open to trying it and so here's the fork and I'm gonna dig in and taste it right away to see oh and I forgot to mention that the um, no kedli, the potato dumplings that um, they've mixed in a lot of um, cottage cheese so that should be interesting so let's try it mm. very good it's not traditional at all, the flavor, but it's very different and it's good. Okay, I'm on to the final round of dinner. I am stuffed, but here it is, the famous Hungarian palacinta. Palacinta is really wrongly translated into English usually as pancakes, and that's not what it is. It's much more similar to crepes, like French crepes, but they fill it with different things. So it's very thin, and then they fill it with either cocoa 
chocolate jam. In this case, it's Turo, and Turo is their version of a sweet cottage cheese. And on top they have vanilla sauce. So here's the pork, and here we go. Oh, and there's powdered sugar on top. Very good. Mm. Very, very good. Delicious, actually. Okay, so I thought I'd come down to the spa area, um, and then I'll go ahead and go inside and show you the spa. So from the reception desk, you have to come in through the, the um, breakfast area, which this is it, and then straight ahead is the spa, which I'm gonna show you now. So straight ahead is the pool, and then the jacuzzi, and then ahead of that is the sauna area. And apparently during the day, this is pretty cool because you can see the hills, which they call the mountains of Tokai, uh, from above the windows um, in the pool area. It's really warm in here too. Ah, uh, this is the life. Very nice. It's a beautiful, beautiful spa area. I'm really looking forward to going and checking out the rest of it after I get out of this luxurious jacuzzi. Good morning, everybody. I'm about to head into the breakfast room, so here we go. scrambled eggs, some pork link, and some banana paprika, banana bell pepper, which is what they call it here, uh, tebe paprika. So, I'm about to eat it. Let's take our first bite and see how the breakfast is. Mm. The eggs are perfect.